I'm excited for this one. Please don't disappoint me. Please don't disappoint me. Please don't disappoint me. All right, first on our list, we're going to start with the classic, the Crunch Wrap Supreme. Crunch Wrap Supreme. I feel like this is equivalent to like the Big Mac from McDonald's. It's a giant tortilla thing. What shape is this? That's a hexagon. I thought it was a rhombus. No, a rhombus <laughs> is like four size? No, that's a square. Let us know in the comments down below. I'm presenting this to the world. <laughs> if you guys are Catholic, this is how priests look like in, in church. Wait, now, now every time I go to church, I'm just going to imagine the priest holding up a crunch wrap supreme. <laughs> if the church was blessing a crunch wrap supreme, bro, I would be there every single Sunday. Early front row seats. But well, let's try it first. Let's see maybe why he would bless it. I actually felt like that was a small bite. I'll do it again. Wait, wait, fold it and bite it in the middle. Just, just fold it and bite it in the middle. Yeah, like that. There we go. Uh, there you go. Mm. Now that's how you should eat a crunch wrap supreme. I've never seen that before in anything culinary. The rumbus shape of it, exquisite. Octagon, hexagon, whatever it is. It has cheese, meat, lettuce, tomato, all that good stuff. But the shape, I'd say the shape is the seller here. It's solid. A seven. I like the idea of the shape. It tastes, I don't know, it tastes like Taco Bell. It has that Taco Bell meat. I just wish it was more hand friendly. Okay, next up, we have the chicken quesadilla. Quesa what? The quesadilla. Why did you have to slap it so aggressively? Yo, who cut this? What are these cuts? <laughs> that is pretty uneven. Look at <laughs> the one on the right is like so small compared to the one on the left. Let's do a size comparison. Bruh. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. It just looks like it's literally just cheese and chicken. Some little sauce in there. Okay. Let's see how it is. pretty chewy it's not much chicken it's a little underwhelming i love the cheese and the sauce you can't go wrong with that but this isn't it i never thought a quesadilla could get you so angry and then look at this what is this a six you could do better you could do better a six okay ramon next we have the crunchy taco supreme Looks like just your basic crunchy taco. Uh, this is like the quintessential fast food taco. Oh yeah. They're not stingy with the meat. Little lettuce, little sour cream, little cheese, some tomato for their freshness. Let's see. That was a good buy, bro. Mm -hmm. That was like half the taco. I could do better than that too. The taco seasoning, taco seasoning. I do like the sour cream and the tomato really give that freshness and uh, it's not bad. Honestly, I love these tacos when I go to Taco Bell. You're going in knowing that these aren't real tacos. They're not real tacos. But they taste pretty good. Late night, you want a little taco fix, a little crunchy taco fix? This isn't bad. A 7.8. I say it's pretty solid. It's not a real taco, okay? It's not, but it's the Americanized version of a taco. I'm happy with it. I think it's very solid, very decent, 7.8. Okay, next up, we have the Nacho Cheese Doritos Locos Tacos. Doritos. Not to be mistaken with Doritos. Oh, so you get a nice presentation they care about this taco for sure look at that why don't they give the other taco a shell doritos how much y'all paying taco bell for this you have that nice big nacho cheese dorito shell smells like doritos a lot of meat okay taco bell not stingy let's go in for the kill another solid bite it's kind of delightful. Does it taste like Doritos? The Doritos nacho cheese shell levels this taco up. I'm impressed. It's like a normal taco, but better. A normal taco, well, but better. Normal Taco Bell taco, but better. <laughs> Not a normal taco, okay? Taco, taco, two different things. That doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. Right, if, if you know, you know. 8.2. I'm impressed with this taco. 
Okay, next up, we have the spicy grilled, the spicy double steak grilled cheese burrito. What a name. That's a mouthful. Can you imagine pulling up to the drive-thru and being like, yo, can I get the spicy double steak grilled cheese burrito? Ooh. That's a, that's a hefty burrito. But this is the grilled cheese, so the grilled cheese is on top of the burrito. Mmm. This actually looks really fire. This looks pretty <laughs> good. Burrito test. That's a thick boy. Bro, if your burrito is making a thud, <laughs> that's this, a good burrito. I eat a lot of burritos, and this has some way that <laughs> double steak, you said, with the grilled cheese. I haven't tasted it yet, and it's already a win in my book. I've never had this, but I, I kind of want to get it next time I go. I'm excited for this one. Please don't disappoint me. Please don't disappoint me. Please don't disappoint me. Mm. Mmm, okay. I like that reaction. You got multiple layers here. Grilled cheese on top, the tortilla, double steak, some creamy sauce, rice. This is delightful. I don't think I have ever <laughs> ate something and said, this is delightful. Now you will. Wait, you're, you're gonna, gonna you're gonna let me try it? It's a lot. You could have some thing. My brother in Christ, this might be the best item at Taco <laughs> Bell I've ever had. Camera guy, do you want do you want a bite? Come on, camera guy. Get a little taste. What, what does he think? All right, go ahead. Mmm, let it simmer. He gives it a thumbs up, guys. Whew. Okay, and I'm ranking this off of Taco Bell standards. I'm not comparing it to anything else. Taco Bell standards only. A 9.5. I really like the burrito. I agree with that rating. The grilled cheese on top, the size of the thing, double steak. So again, not stingy with the meat. That's a 9.5, that's a winner. I'm gonna start getting that for sure. Taco Bell, I've been sleeping on it. Okay, now we have the beefy five layer burrito. When I go to Taco Bell, this is one of my go-tos. Nice little burrito. I feel like every time you get a burrito, you have to do like a drop test now. You do. I feel like all the good stuff's right here. So I'm gonna do what you're not supposed to do. And I'm gonna bite it from the middle. Don't do it. Don't? Don't do it, bro. Don't, Ramon. Mm. I would like to state that I do not condone Ramon's actions. What's that shape? A smile. You just committed the biggest sin that you could possibly commit. That's where all the flavor is. If there was a burrito god, I feel like he's probably pissed at you right now. Look at this, you see all the layers right there. One, two, three, four, five. You got cheese, your pigeon meat, your some beans. What more do you want? This is- Wait, did you just say pigeon meat? How do you know it's not pigeon meat? If it is, it's pretty good. I'll give that. A 7.2. I like the burrito form. I like the sour cream, the cheesiness. I love cheese, fake cheese or not. And this has a lot of that little fake cheese. And I like that. Respectable little burrito. You can't go wrong with it. Okay, Mr. Gorilla Head over here. He has the spicy potato soft taco. Okay. Wait, Ramon, before you eat it, I have to ask you a question. When you eat your tacos, do you turn your head or do you turn the taco? Is there a right way to do it? I would like to think so. Yeah, that's me turning my head. Am I doing it wrong? No, 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 that's the right way, right? You're making me like second guess myself. Guys, comment down below. Do you turn your head or do you turn the taco? <laughs> no, not that way. You, you would turn the taco. <laughs> All right, I don't think you understand the concept. <laughs> I've never had this before, but by golly gee, this is good potato. He said, by golly gee. It's pretty good. Lots of cheese. The flavor of that potato is pretty good. I would get this again. It's kind of ugly, but it doesn't represent the beautifulness of this flavor. An eight. I like it. Not the greatest thing in the world, but wow. It's, it's a great alternative to meat, which I usually don't want. It's an eight. Okay, now we have the Chalupa Supreme. Chalupa Supreme. What is a chalupa? Like in real life, isn't there a chalupa in Loteria? Yeah, so I guess it's a lady that swims. Oh wait, not a lady that swims, it's a lady on a boat. Yeah. I feel like all the tacos are the same, it's just the meat, cheese, lettuce, tomato. But the difference here is this bread. 
This bread's kind of nice. It gives it like extra flavor and texture too. It's not just a normal tortilla. Chalupa. I feel like that's a beautiful name. I would totally name my daughter Chalupa. It's, it is, I agree with you. It's a, maybe a dog? <laughs> this is a PSA to Taco Bell. If you gave me a lifetime supply of Chalupas, I would name my next born child Chalupa. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, babe. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if we name our next child Chalupa? Uh, for real? Yeah, are you down? I know. <laughs> Why not? That's so ugly. I like this. It's like a, almost like an Indian fry bread taco. An 8.3. This shell is really good by itself. I just wish it had like a different flavor than just the normal meat, cheese, lettuce, tomato combo that they have on everything. If they got like a little more creative with this one, it'd be higher because the flavor's there. It's good. All right, Ramon, you seem a little parched. So we're gonna switch it up with a Baja Blast. Ooh, say less. Wait, so a Baja Blast is like a Taco Bell exclusive? Mm hmm You can't find it anywhere else? Nope. I don't drink soda. I'm more of a, but this I love. It's like slurp juice from Fortnite. It kind of looks like it. And it makes me feel like better, you know? I get more health with this. I don't know what's so Baja about this, Baja California, or I don't know, but I'll tell you, it is a blast. This is easy for me. A 10. Taco Bell, you have done right by this. Do you like quesadillas? I do. Do you like burritos? I do. Then you'll like a quesarito. Wait, quesarito. I think it is a quesadilla wrapped around a burrito. Wow. Okay. Let's taste it. Because I do like both. There's a lot going on. You got like double the tortillas. Rice, meat, cheese. What more do you want? This, the sauce, I like. This combo, quesarito. I'm gonna get that tattooed. That's a great name. That is a really good name. Probably another name I would also name my daughter. <laughs> hey, Kisserito, I missed you so much. You need to be stopped. <laughs> I'm gonna just go through the Taco Bell menu and start picking out baby names. <laughs> if you don't hang up on me again, don't call me. Uh, uh, wait, 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 hold on. Hear me out. You may not like the Chalupa name, but what about Kisserito? I'm obsessed. Th that's a good name, right? All right, our next child will be called Quesarito. It's, it's confirmed. An 8.5. Pretty impressed with the name. I'm mind blown right now, but the taste is pretty good. I like the cheese, meats, and the rice with the sauce. 8.5 would get again. Okay, next up, we have the Nacho Bell Grande. The Nacho Bell Grande. Grande. Ooh, your tortilla chips, cheese, meat, some beans, and tomato. Get that middle. Mm. Very underwhelming. I already ate half the meat with two bites. It needs more cheese for my liking. I'm not really sold on these. A four. All of this sounds good, but a bit stingy with the thing and doesn't have that oomph factor for me. I'll pass on this one. Okay, next up, we have a fan favorite, a Mexican pizza. Mexican pizza. How is this a pizza and how is it Mexican? It's shaped as a pizza. It's a circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess anything in a circle looks like a pizza. Huh? You know what, now that you mention it, what does make it Mexican? Specifically Mexican pizza. Maybe if it had like the color of the flag or something. There's no grain in here. You Taco Bell execs, answer this. What makes this Mexican? Comment down below. Because they cut into slices. Is there beans? Is that is that what's in there? It's meat, meat and okay. beans. They, they have beans. That's Mexican. Okay. I apologize to Taco Bell. Well, I've had better Mexican food and I've had better pizza. But have you had a better Mexican pizza? No, it's not bad. So I like the creativity. I like the sauce and that's pretty much all it's got going for it. Almost looks like chilaquiles. Almost. Yeah, it kind of does. Hey, Mexican pizza. Hmm. A seven. I'd eat it, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to get it. But yeah, it's just it's just it's a seven. Okay, next up we have the Doritos Cheesy Gordita Crunch. Doritos 
Cheesy Crunch. They just be making whatever now. Is that a Doritos Locos Tacos wrapped inside another tortilla? <laughs> wow, this should be in a museum. If this doesn't scream America, I don't know what does. Wow, Taco Bell. Only Taco Bell could put a taco in a taco and get away with it. Multiple flavors with just the tortillas. When is enough enough? Who's gonna stop them? No one. Next, they're gonna put this in a quesadilla or in a Mexican pizza. What's next after this? It's not bad, but I prefer just the normal taco without this. This is too thick. Who orders these on the regular? Like who? What kind of people order this? A 6.8. That's a lot. I need meat. I need more flavor. It took away from the Doritos flavor, which I think makes it great. Nah, 6.8. All right, Ramon. I think that's a good one to end off on. So comment down below what you want to see Ramon rank or try next. And while you're at it, make sure you click the subscribe button and the like button. Let us know in the comments down below. And just maybe, quite possibly, and most likely, I'll do it. I need to use the restroom now.